atomic structure and charges. You would have studied in your earlier grades about atomic structure. An atom consists of a nucleus which houses the proton and the neutron and is surrounded by electrons in orbits. If you closely observe the atom, you will see they have equal number of protons and electrons. An atom is electrically neutral. That's why you're seeing a, a charge of zero here. Okay, how are the charges produced? So for example, if I remove an electron from here, what happens? The charge becomes positive. How? Oh. So when I remove an electron, there are two protons here, and there is only one electron. So the effective net charge is positive one here. That's why it became positive. On the other hand, if I add an electron to this, then what happens is the number of electrons is more than the number of protons. And in this case, it is three electrons and two protons, so the net charge is negative one. That's how the charges are produced. So practically, how can you produce these charges? When you rub certain material with another, certain material absorbs electrons and certain materials give away electrons. So the material which gives away the electrons become positive, the material which accepts electrons becomes negative. That's how charges are produced. Next, what we're going to look at is the, I mean, are the properties of the charges. Suppose if I bring two charged objects closer to each other, let's say two objects of same charge, in this case positive and positive, what would happen? So when I bring both the objects closer together, what happens is these objects repel each other because like charges repel. On the other hand, if I bring a positive and a negative charged objects closer together, then they attract each other. That is, unlike charges, attract.